Hi, in this video I will talk about affine transformation. A digital image is the set of all points inside a rectangle over a 2D grid. An image point is called pixel, meaning picture element. For a grayscale image, each pixel holds brightness value. For a color image, each pixel holds red, green and blue values. A geometric image transformation simply moves pixels over the grid, computing new coordinates for each pixel. Pixel location is denoted as a 2D vector. X is column coordinate and Y is row coordinate. So transformation T takes 2D input vector and produces 2D output vector. Linear transformation. Transformation T is linear if it meets the following three conditions. P1 and P2 are vectors and C is a constant. Summing two vectors before and after transformation give the same result. Scaling a vector before and after transformation give the same result. And linear transformation does not change origin. Condition 3 is a direct consequence of condition 2 when C is 0. A linear transformation is implemented as matrix vector product. T of P is equal to A times P. Here A is the transformation matrix. It can be expressed as matrix equation. Transformation matrix A Input vector P and output vector P prime. For more details you may refer to linear transformation video on my channel. Affine transformation. The only difference between linear and affine transformations is that linear transformation keeps the origin same, but affine transformation may change the origin. Linear transformation TL of P is equal to A times P. A fine transformation TA of P is equal to A times P plus B. A is 2 by 2 transformation matrix. P is 2 by 1 coordinate vector and B is 2 by 1 translation vector. Linear transformation is a fine transformation with zero translation vector B. And a fine transformation is linear transformation only when B is zero vector. A fine transformation T of P is equal to A times P plus B and it is equal to P prime. This is a fine transformation equation in matrix vector form. And these are the equations for x prime and y prime. 
2D affine transform is controlled with six parameters, also called six degrees of freedom. Zero vector origin may be mapped to a different point depending on B. Affine transformation preserves lines and ratio of lengths over each line. Affine transformation may not preserve angles and lengths. Parallel lines remain parallel. Homogeneous coordinates. To compute affine transformation with this equation, one matrix vector multiplication and one vector addition should be performed. Single matrix vector multiplication will be more practical and more efficient. The solution is to use homogeneous coordinates. To obtain homogeneous coordinates from Cartesian coordinates, one more dimension is added. In homogeneous coordinates, a point and its scaled versions are same. They are the same point on different Z planes. If Z component is zero, then the point is at infinity. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X and Y coordinates are divided by Z coordinate. Scaled versions of the same point in homogeneous coordinates correspond to same Cartesian coordinates. This is a fine transformation equation in Cartesian coordinates. One more dimension is added to input and output vectors. And P vector is moved inside transformation matrix or augmented to transformation matrix. And this is a fine transformation equation in homogeneous coordinates. Using this equation, a fine transformation is performed with single matrix vector multiplication. These are standard basis vectors for 3D space. This matrix is a linear transformation matrix in 3D. Then this column is the third basis vector of transform vector space. And what B0 and B1 do is to change the orientation of that basis vector. B0 and B1 moves tip of the third basis vector on Z equals 1 plane. This is our input image in Cartesian coordinates. Image scale in this diagram is not relevant, just for illustration. When we move from Cartesian to homogeneous coordinates, 2D image is moved to Z equals 1 plane in 3D.
So 2D image is embedded in 3D. B0 and B1 shear 3D space parallel to XY plane. Translation of image over 2D Z equals 1 plane is the result of shear in 3D space. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X and Y coordinates are divided by Z coordinate. And this is translated image in Cartesian coordinates. For affine transformation examples, you may refer to image rotation, image shear, image flip, and image translation videos on my channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.